Hello, I'm Maurice Dimba. Welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to interoperate between SketchUp, Tecla Structures and uh, other architectural design softwares. Let's get started. And if you take a look on the screen here, you can see a model here done by Edificious. This is a very, very good design software for architects. Now, I've, uh, I did design this and uh, there's some components that uh, I'm, I'm not able to do within this environment and uh, I'm capable of doing it in SketchUp. So what I'll do is just to link this Edificious with SketchUp. How do I do that? I just pick on that then come right here and here I have two options I have blender and SketchUp now under SketchUp I'll be able to just click on that and we go straight to to SketchUp I'll go I'll click continue so that I uh, I improve my model in a different environment apart from edificious now I'll, I'll click uh, template then click start this will open SketchUp environment now a component you'll see here is the only component that you intend to modify and this is uh the fascia board of uh, of the roof that you intend to modify now i'll come here and start modifying straight away i'll pick right there and i've got there and pick line then i'll just create a line here a small one not really good let me just start it all the way up here uh, point somewhere here let me just pick the right one let me snap right there and create a line here let me place it there and uh, rotate it for prior to doing anything I've targeted the wrong point let me go and delete that first let me delete that let me delete that and uh, redraw that Perfect. That would do. Let me turn whether it is in the right position. This is in the right position, and I'll go ahead and put another one here, and go straight up right there. Prior to terminating your co the continuation of your line, make sure you are terminating t terminating it in the right position. Now let me right click and uh, just continue. I'll snap right there and uh, snap right there. Perfect. Now what do I do? I want just to extrude it, th this end. I'll come to extrude here and click on that. Click on that and just drag it up to that, that spot. And also turn the other end and also come here and drag this to this end. Perfect. Once you've done that, just uh, click escape. Then turn that round, right click to terminate that. Once you've done your modification in in uh, SketchUp or uh, I mean in SketchUp environment, just go ahead and click save. Once you save that, you can go ahead and now close SketchUp. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and, and save SketchUp right there. Then uh, close it. I'll close SketchUp for now so that I get to. I go back to my model here cancel that it hasn't changed but that is how it's done now I've, I've already created some uh, I've already generated uh, and created a clip on on uh, for this building let me just turn that this round this is edificious a very good software for architectural so these are the int interpolation commands either in blender uh, or uh, sketchup so the moment you intend to modify anything or create moldings on the on the building just pick the part you want to 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 improve more and uh, go straight to that button and uh, pick on your on the appropriate uh, interpolation software inter operation software now that's it now take a look on what i've done and uh, thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe bye bye enjoy the view